We begin with this Fox News alert. According to Reuters, one of the most notorious terrorists tied to the 1993 truck bombing of the World Trade Center is now dead. Omar Abdel Rahman, known as the Blind Sheik, had been serving a life term at a federal medical prison in North Carolina. His death comes almost 24 years to the day that that truck bomb killed six people at the World Trade Center. Brian Yenis joins us now with our breaking news coverage. Hi, Brian. Hi, Elizabeth. Well, terrorist Omar Abdel Raham was serving a life prison sentence in the federal prison in North Carolina where he has died, according to the Reuters news agency. His son confirming to Reuters this news this morning. Omar Abdel Raham was found guilty of conspiring to carry out terrorist attacks in the U.S. in 1995, which included plans to blow up the United Nations headquarters, a federal building, two tunnels, and a bridge in Manhattan. At the time, this was the biggest terrorism trial in our nation's history. He was convicted along with nine others. And this case stemmed from a larger investigation into the World Trade Center bombing in 1993. He is thought to have been the man that really um, counseled uh, the terrorists that put a truck bomb into the North Tower, killing six people in that terrorist attack in 1993. A blind Egyptian cleric, Abdel Raham, was known as the Blind Sheik. He was considered the spiritual leader of al the al Gama, also known as the Islamic Group, a militant group considered a terrorist organization. And to this day, the organization actively had campaigned for his release. In fact, the Blind Sheik's imprisonment became a rallying cry for the Islamic group which carried out attacks like the Luxor massacre, killing 62 terrorists, a tourist, I apologize, in Egypt, in part demanding the release of their leader. The 78-year-old was known for his radical sermons, especially while he lived in New York City in the 1990s, denouncing the United States and Israel, calling for jihad, a holy war against what he called the infidel. He was finally put behind bars after being charged and found guilty of the conspiracy, life in prison without parole. But no doubt his teachings inspired terrorists around the world, including Osama bin Laden. And you'll remember when the Islamic group uh, gained power with President Mohamed Morsi in Egypt, they had pushed for his release. Um, he had vowed to push for his release, which just underscores how important he was to that group and to its followers. Elizabeth? All right, Brian, yes, kicking off our coverage this Saturday afternoon. Brian, thank you so much.